Hello, my name is Wolfgang Knieski. I'm the founder and the managing director of In Innovation GmbH. In Innovation GmbH is headquartered uh, very close to Darmstadt, so as I say, in the heart of Germany, and is an innovation management company. We deal with any kind of uh, innovation support in the triangle of education, innovation management, and innovation for business support. We help companies to get access to innovative technologies, but on the other side, we help also startups to get access to real challenges in the industry and get access to customers and to investors. Wolfgang, I have an interesting question. Uh, how do you foresee the application of artificial intelligence into the next five to 10 years into the industry? Wow, this is a big question. <laughs> I think uh, we will talk now the next three hours about it. <laughs> now, uh, to, be, to be serious, there are so many different application areas where AI uh, can play a significant role. So we are talking uh, about uh, gathering information yeah, and managing information. Managing information for, for example, decision support. This is very important because who has all the information at the right time, at the right place, and in the right ear of the right decision maker mm -hmm. uh, to have an objective decision being informed about consequences of decision and so on and so on. Uh, this is still a gap, this is still missing. Mm -hmm. and, and this involves many complicated processes in organizations. Uh, and uh, there is benefit uh, to use AI because AI transports the right messages if you use it correctly. In that regard, could you please uh, share a bit more insights about this great Erasmus Plus initiative, uh, Navigating AI? Yeah, I can. This is a so-called uh, small cooperation partnership. And the focus of uh, the project is on the creative sector. In the creative sector, uh, you use more and more AI. And uh, you use AI to come up with uh, nice images, for example. Uh, you can come up with nice interfaces uh, to enrich your web applications to enrich um, software that generates value, uh, if it's in the filmmaking, it's in production, if it's in mobility, and so on and so on. So people that use their creativity, enriched by AI, have to understand what are the obligations, where are the limitations, mm -hmm. and how can I turn something which is consider, considered as disadvantage to comply with regulation, mm -hmm. how can I turn in, this into an advantage? Mm -hmm. This is why we have to inform creative people what are the elements of the AI Act, yeah, how can I correctly classify my use of AI into the required and determined risk categories, and how can I protect myself and my customers Mm -hmm. yeah, from not proper use of AI. Mm -hmm. This is important to develop, let's say, this knowledge and to exploit this knowledge into the heads of the creative people and into their daily applications. What should be the key value proposition that creative experts could place and identify into their artworks, let's say, to make them like more standing out from the others? So creative people are in competition. And uh, creative people use AI now to make their life easier, to get faster to information, to get considered different aspects of generating the, the information, uh, get ideas how to position themselves and so on and so on. And in this process, they have to comply with AI regulations and related regulations, like using uh, properly uh, private data, or using uh, properly IP. Documentation need when you use AI, when you use data. The proper use and the compliant use of data is documented. The more you can turn this into a value position, and you can tell your customer, this system is not only developed with AI mm -hmm. and can be improved by 
training the AI algorithms in the future, this system complies fully to all regulations. It's an important message to your customer. And this is how you create the value, not only by using the tool as such, this is why you create additional value propositions for your own business. Mm -hmm. If you could address three very specific hints or tips to our students how to use ethically and effectively AI into their daily routines, into their workflow, what it should be? Yeah, first of all, take this risk classification series. Many tools where you can do a self-assessment of risk. Yeah, it's at the beginning time consuming, but the end beneficial. Yeah, if you do the self-assessment, you have an idea that you do the classification of risk correctly, and that you do the documentation accordingly and properly. So this creates the value that I was mm -hmm. just talking about. The second is make sure that you have a proper IP management. It's not only about ethical compliance, data protection compliance, risk awareness. It's also that you can use AI in creative businesses to create IP. And you have to be aware if you don't neglect somebody else's IP. Because mm. you don't know if an AI system creates suddenly a picture, if this picture is protected. Yeah, so you have to have a proper IP management yeah, yeah. accompanying your processes. This is the second tip. And the third tip is, if you do all these administrative things, talk about it. Do the good things, be compliant, but talk about that you are compliant. This creates the value. And this takes the fear of AI out of the mindsets of people. And the people at the end are the customers of the creative people. Yeah, so be open to your customers, tell them what good things AI is doing, and then you have success. Finally, it was your first visit at our campus here at Babelsberg. What are your impressions from our XU Exponential University of Applied Sciences? I work with so many universities and inside and outside of Europe. What really impressed me in the discussions with uh, your president, with faculty members, is the orientation to the real needs in the market. Scientific excellence can be achieved by creating new things uh, only with a scientific drive. But scientific excellence can also be created by a user orientation, by a need orientation. And this is what I felt in the discussions today that uh, the faculty and the president of this university is concerned of the needs and the challenges of users and how activities, development, research can contribute to solve challenges and to tackle challenges. Hmm. This impressed me. Thank you very much for having you here. It was a big honor and pleasure. Thank you. The same for me. Thank you very much.